Hi guys, this is Mike. Uh, this is a preview of the Alexa BeagleBone project. This is based on the Alexa Pi project by a guy named Sam. It's written in Python and was a great starting point for my, uh, my own fork of the project. Now, I'll apologize in advance for this cell phone video. I wanted to get something out there. There's been a lot of news lately about the uh, Amazon voice service running on the Raspberry Pi. And me being a VeggieBone enthusiast, I uh, thought I needed to get some something out there quickly to kind of show that this can run on the VeggieBone as well. Really, the only thing that required changing uh, that's that's Raspberry Pi specific is the uh, the GPIO layer. And so, for the what you need GPIOs for is things like those LEDs and the switch. Now, this is not continuously listening like the Amazon Echo. This is more like the Amazon Tap or the Amazon Dot where you need to actually push a button and then it will record your voice, send that to the Amazon voice servers for interpretation and it will respond with some response or a um, you know an audio streaming link. So that's actually what I was mostly interested in. Um, I've already got an Echo so I can use that for making lists and turning cups into quartz or whatever, but I wanted to scatter a bunch of these around the house just to uh, listen to iHeartRadio. And so, like I said, Sam has a good starting point, but there's a few things that I wanted to add, namely jumping between stations. Um, I call that channel surfing in my patch. Uh, that really wasn't supported. And then also I wanted to be able to support volume control with my voice. And so those are the two major differentiating features of this project. Uh, so I will demonstrate the channel surfing and then the uh, voice volume control right now. So I'm going to do 106.1. Uh, Play 106.1. Hey, nice timing. Okay, so you can hear 106.1 is playing. Uh, let's jump over to a um, just a streaming audio station real quick. I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. Play One Republic Radio. Okay. Oh, that's real quiet. I picked a horrible, <laughs> horrible time just to jump to that station. I was worried that uh, I had a bug, but no, just a quiet intro. Okay, let's jump over to another station real quick. Play 97.1. So you can see the channel surfing works just fine. Uh, push a button, say what you want. And what's also really cool is you can uh, correspond with Alexa. So if you ask her for a channel that she doesn't know yet, that's not in your list, she'll ask you, do you want this channel added? And then you just push the button and say yes, and then she'll do it and start playing. I just did that, um, you know, just experimenting and was really surprised that that, that worked. I didn't need to write any software to do it. Uh, okay, so now, now Lex, next let's um, try changing the volume with our voice. Now since I've got this hooked up to headphones, uh, I'm just going to kind of cut the volume way down low. Um, just so that you will uh, be able to tell right away. So right now it's at full volume, which is 10, and so I'll ask it for a volume of 4. Volume 4. So see, because I said volume four, that was an absolute change. Now if I just say volume up, volume up, you'll see it detects that as a relative change and it just adds 10. And then you can do stuff like quiet. And then it knows to turn that, just to turn the volume down. And you can also say volume down. Volume 10, so then that will just go to maximum volume again. 
So anyway, this has been my demo of the Alexa Beagle Bone. Um, maybe you are wondering what this little guy is here hanging off my USB hub. Let's turn the volume back down. I'll talk about it. Volume zero. So you maybe noticed there when I when I was pushing the button that the volume kind of went down a little bit. That's kind of emulating the Amazon Echo behavior as well, where when you start talking, it will lower the volume. Uh, it's not really so important with the headphones, but with external loudspeakers, um, that will definitely be helpful. So anyway, back to this guy. Uh, this is a little side project that I'm working on as well. Um, this is a Texas Instruments RFID evaluation module. And I'm running a Python program called RFID Geek. And basically all it is doing right now is it's sitting in a loop just trying to read uh, a tag. Uh, right now there's no tag in proximity, so it's not finding anything. But when we go back down here, uh, you'll see next to this green LED, when I bring my work badge into proximity, the little orange light will come on. And I won't show you what the screen says, because I know someone will be able to clone it and then uh, I'll probably end up in a whole heap of trouble someday. But anyway, so here we go again. And the light turns on. So I'm going to probably use this someday to, you know, either open a garage door or, I don't know, anything interesting. Maybe make my own keyless ignition system. But uh, lots of cool stuff you can do with uh, the BeagleBone and Texas Instruments Silicon. So anyway, again, this has been a demo of the Alexa BeagleBone project. This is a fork of the Alexa Pi project by Sam. Um, if you've got a Pi, check his project out. If you've got a BeagleBone, though, be sure to check this one out. And uh, if you can think of any other features, put them in the comments below. Uh, thank you. Bye.